out, boys, and we can watch the whole train. And no matter what you have to do, just keep our friend from getting on it. Come on. getting on that train or any other train say what's the idea if you know what's good for you you'll meet us at your office my office say you're mistaking me for someone else look what are you trying to give us
Captain's from leaving town anyway. Yes, and there isn't another train until this evening. He probably went back to his office. We better go down there and keep an eye on him. Hello, Norman. Why, uh, hello. Uh, your paper, Mr. Gray. Paper? Yes. Oh, yes. Why, you've already paid me for the papers this week, Mr. Gray. Did I? Yes. Norman Gray. Norman Gray. Hey, where you going? I want to get something for this hand of mine. You can baby it later. We got to get down to that office. What? Hey, how are we going to crash that gate? Four shoulders ought to do it. Wait a minute. Let's see how thick it is. Come in. Hey, how did you get here so soon? Yeah, and had time to change your clothes. What's the idea? Trying to skip town? With our rocks. You expect me to dispose of stolen diamonds in the same town where you got them? Yes, we do. You've got $100,000 worth of stuff there, and we took a big chance getting them, so we're not losing sight of you. If you think I'm crooked, you better find yourself another fence. Hey, I'll bet he sold them already. Yeah, let's see him. What are you worried about anyway, boy? Let's see him, I said. The stones are the money. There they are. Everyone big enough to be identified. But I tell you, it's suicide to try to sell them here. I'm telling you, it's suicide for you to try to leave town. We'll give you just 24 hours to cash them in and split with us. And remember, we've got our eye on you. And no more of those athletic stunts like you pulled at the station. I nearly busted my hand swinging on you. Come in. Well, I knew there was someone in this town I resembled, but I didn't think it'd be this close. My name is Dick Rainey. Mine's Norman Gray. Sit down, won't you?
How did you know I was your double? Well, I got off a train to get something to read. When four of the toughest eggs grabbed me and wouldn't let me on again. And that's how I got away and found you. Judging the way that your friends want to keep you here, you must be pretty popular. Friends? Those fellows know I have to carry diamonds around. They're planning to rob me, I guess. It's a good thing you weren't taking that train then. Yes. I'd have been out $100,000. Those diamonds are not insured. And it'd be my own loss if they get them. That safe uh, looks pretty strong. But I got to deliver those diamonds today. And the buyer, Mr. Ferry, lives out in the suburbs. But after your experience, well, I'm worried. Say, I've got an idea. That is, if you're willing to help me. Sure. I haven't anything to do until the next train. I'll fix up a fake package. You start to deliver it. And when they follow you, I'll get away with the real one. And when they stick me up, I'll have a laugh, believe me. <laughs> Here's the real McCoy. And here's the fake. Exactly alike. No one could tell the difference. Just wait till he opened it. Or will I laugh? Well, I owe it to him for manhandling me like this. Better take a look and see if they're still outside. Yes. They're still waiting for you. Maybe me. Maybe the both of us. <laughs> Here are the keys to my roadster. It's right in front. Meet me at Mr. Ferry's. It's a big white house on Arbor Road. Just follow this street to the country. You can't miss it. Say, do you think they might start any gunplay? No. They're just a pack of rats. Hold on. With my coat and hat at the wheel of my car, why you fooled my mother. Well, I see you at the customers. Well, no use all of us staying here. You two fellas stay here and we'll believe you later. Come on. Stay with him.
Hey, handsome. Didn't I tell you not to try to get away with these? Here. Take them and keep them if you want to. And welcome. Listen, fella. None of your leper out. Easy, Mike. We might be seen. Well, as long as you fellas are afraid to start anything, I might as well be starting along. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You wouldn't try to slip me an empty box and drive away with the real thing, would you? You don't think I'd be running away if it didn't contain the real thing? It wouldn't be very healthy for you. It's the real stuff, all right. It's a lucky thing for you, fella, or I... Cut it, Mike, before a car comes along. I know her. That's Audrey Ferry. She lives right up the road there. They're probably heading up there now. Let's beat them to it. Steal some diamonds. But well, thanks to you, I'm safe. Whew. Sure was a close one. That was some jump you took. Are you all right? Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, oh, I broke my... I broke my... What? My cigar. <laughs> I was never so thrilled in my life. You wasn't half as thrilled as I was. Say, uh, are you going back to town? Why, Norman, I think that jump must have affected you. Can't you see I'm going towards home? Oh, yes, uh, so you are. Uh, I think I must be worried about these diamonds. Can I take them to my house? Well, they really ought to be in a safe. Why, Norman, you know Dad has a safe, the late best kind. You saw it only last week. Oh, yes. Yes, I forgot. Uh, I guess that jump must have affected me. You certainly aren't quite yourself. No, but... Uh, I I'll get better as I go along. Robert, 
Yes, miss. Don't let any strangers in. Mr. Gray was held up on his way here and almost robbed. Very well, Miss Audrey. Now, if you'll give me those diamonds, I'll put them in the safe. Why, yes. Uh, right here they are. She's got the diamonds, all right. She's heading for the safe. I can't see where it is. Help me. I've forgotten that last number. It's 30, Miss. Thank you. Well, let's break in now and get them. Lay off. We better not start anything till he leaves. It'd be a lot easier to get the diamonds from the girl. Well, I'd like to see anybody get those diamonds. That's very cleverly hidden. Isn't it? Sure is. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Pardon me, Miss Audrey. There's a telegram from Mr. Ferry. Shall I bring it to you? No, Robert. You can wait until he returns. I imagine Mr. Gray would like a glass of ginger ale. Yes, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> So, very good. Are you expecting your father home pretty soon? Why, Norman, I told you only this morning that he was out of town and wouldn't be home for a week. Oh, yes, uh, I've forgotten. You certainly are forgetful, certainly. I hope you're not worrying about your diamonds. Oh, no. Just a little business. Where's Cobb and Mac? Car's gone, too. I guess I'd better be getting down to my office. I'll drive you back to where you left your car if you'll wait just a minute. Oh, that would be awfully nice of you. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. Pardon me. Me, 9607. Hello? Hello, Norman. This is Audrey. There's a young man here who... Sorry, Mr. Gray's not in. Can I have him call you? No, thank you. Robert! Robert! I just called Mr. Gray's office and I'm sure he answered and then he said it wasn't he. They don't very well see how he could be here and there at the same time, miss. This man is an imposter. An imposter? Yes. And I'm going to see out why he's playing this game. He's probably some dangerous character. Don't take any chances. Ready, Norman? Sure you're not worried about leaving the diamonds? Oh, no. I'm glad I delivered them safely. I'll come back for your father's check later. My father's check for the diamonds? Yes. I don't understand. Why, he's buying them, isn't he? Now I see through your little game. My little game? Yes. It's a trick to get my father to pay for diamonds he's already refused to buy. Listen, Miss Ferry. I'm not Norman Gray. Don't you suppose I know that? Norman Gray got me into this because I resemble him. Now, if you take me to my car, well, I can explain everything.
All right, I'm ready. May 9607, please. Uh, hello, Mr. Gray. Mr. Gray is not in. May I take a message? Are you sure Mr. Gray isn't in? Say, I don't like this setup. Let's go up and see if he's still there. Come on. Ah, uh, we can sell them ourselves. I know a buyer up in San Francisco, and Mike will take us over in the boat. Why the boat? For safety. Bye. Me, Carl Randall. This is Mr. Gray speaking. I've got to go out of town. I want a fast call. Yes, yeah, side engines, please. Thank you. Hello, boys. Hello. You won't need that fast car. We came after the diamonds. Why, I, I, I was just going to sell them. Well, we'll save you all that trouble, Mr. Gray. We decided to sell the diamonds ourselves. So, come on, hand them over. But how about my percentage? I was supposed to make some money out of this. You heard me. Hand them over. Hey, what's the idea of cutting me out? Come on, come on. And get out! I'm sick of the whole business, you double crossers. Wait. Better check on it. Where are they? Wait. I... So, you weren't trying to put anything over on us, were you? Not much. Well, I... Police department, if you please. Uh, hello, Captain Klein. This is the butler at uh, Mr. Ferry's residence speaking. May I suggest that you send someone to Mr. Norman Gray's office in the bar building? I have a very definite suspicion that...
once more now. Are you going to tell me where that safe is or not? No. Oh, one more cork out of you, and I'll fix you. at Norman Gray's office, and I found him on the floor, killed. They're after the diamonds. Oh, how dreadful. Ah! Yeah, what's the hurry? Uh, Miss Carey, she's in danger. Yeah, well, not so fast. I'm telling you, she's in danger. I heard a scream over the telephone. Come on. Yeah, hold him, boys. Just delaying everything. Oh, no wonder you're in a hurry. Oh, I had nothing to do with that. Bring him in. You're under arrest. And anything you say will be used against you. I know I'm in the gym, but the girl isn't the worst one. I didn't do it. That may happen to the girl if we don't get to her. What girl? What are you talking about? Well, I was speaking to Miss Ferry on the telephone when I heard her scream. I know she's in danger. Yeah? I'll check on that. We'll see what she tells me. Hello. Police talking. Get me the ferry residence on Arbor Road. Yeah, and make it snappy. Now, will you quit your stalling? We saw you take the diamonds. Now, where is the safe? I told you, I don't know. Just a minute, sister. I'll take care of that. Hello? Yes, sir. Just a moment. Oh, miss, answer this phone. It's the police. You tell them everything's on the up and up, or else... Miss Perry? Sergeant Daly speaking. We've got a report that there are some suspicious characters around your house. Oh, thanks, Miss Perry. I'm sorry to have bothered you. I thought not. Can't you see she's being forced to lie to you? Oh, yeah? Say, for heaven's sakes, tell her if she's in danger and is being forced to lie to you, to say something with the word of helping it. Say, hey, what do you think this is, a parlor game? You know, but she's in danger, don't well, you understand? that's that. Come on, take him in. Oh, you can't I call the homicide squad in the coroner. But listen, she... Take him in. Handcuffing. General alarm. Escaping prisoner. Description, American. Brown hair, light trousers, light coat, five foot ten tall.
Calling all cars. Calling all cars. At ninth and time, an escaping prisoner wanted for murder. After him, boys. Calling all cars, calling all cars. Stand by for description of escaping prisoner. American, five feet 10, light trousers, tan coat. He has no hat on, that's it. He's gotten out of this district. Pick up your partner and get back on the job. Why, sir? What's the matter? The car is gone. There it goes. You've worked here a long time, haven't you? Yes. Well, you wouldn't want to see her get hurt. No, sir. All right, go ahead. Oh, stop! Stop! I am. Uh, I'll open the safe. Well, then step on it. We got the gems. You will wait till we pick you up. Head up. Did they hurt you? No, not much. A robber gave them the diamonds. The police think I killed Norman Gray for the diamonds. Now, I've got to catch him to clear myself. Maybe you can. They've gone to a telephone number they call. South 4181. I think they're address for the chief operator. They pulled out the phone. They did? The drugstore. Come on. Good.
That number is at 3548 Ohio Avenue. I know where it is. It's that way. Good. I guess we better step on it.
Hands up. You take them in, officer. I'll wait for Dick Rainey. All right, take them in. I want you guys. Come on. Just a minute. They have some stolen goods I like to have. Hello, boy. All right, let's go now. I couldn't clear myself by letting you take this away from me. I have to hand it to you. I suppose you'll continue your trip now. Oh, no. I've been offered a good job. I'm going to stay right here and settle down and take no more chances. I wanted adventure, and did I get it? I can't imagine you settled down and... And what? I suppose the woman who owned those diamonds was pretty grateful to you, wasn't she? Yes, yeah, she was. She gave me one for a reward. Would you like to see it? Yes. Yeah. Let me have your hand. Why, I hardly know you. Audrey. Well, at least not as well as I'd like to. 